nope it almost cut that truck off geez uh, I'm a little concerned at the wiper speed here because if the wipers start going too fast that's when you're gonna have navigate on autopilot uh, yeah right on time get disabled it's hitting its brake for no reason it's still doing it I don't know why what's going on everybody welcome back to another Tesla challenge this is number six and this is another highly requested one. Uh, we're gonna see how autopilot does in the rain. So just a couple things before we start, if you wanna skip ahead, uh, timestamps will be down below. We haven't had much rain here lately, so I haven't been able to do this one, um, but I'm excited to try it today. So according to the poll that I posted, most of you don't care uh, whether I have my face here or not. Uh, so in future videos, I'm just gonna do it for the intro, say hi, uh, so you know there is actually a person here, the Tesla's not driving itself, and then it's just gonna be the GoPro camera just the driving view from now on. All right, so we're getting on the highway. We're on 2019.28.3.1, and I've noticed this update hasn't been the best um, in terms of autopilot performance. Uh, actually, Stephanie was driving the other day and, and she was getting some phantom braking and she really wasn't liking that. So as in the other challenges, we're gonna let the car do everything. Um, I'm gonna keep a hand on the wheel and I'm not gonna interfere at all. So our speed is gonna be set at 78, so let's do that. And then our follow distance will be two, so we'll keep it there. Um, the car will do all the merging and everything. The only thing that I'm controlling for right now, and I can change it, let's see how long I can go. Let's put the wipers back on auto. Okay, the car's not doing a very good job here, merging. It never even used its turn signal or anything. Um, and that's, see, that's weird. So now it's navigated on autopilot. It didn't even know it was on the highway until right there. Um, okay, so lane change, and it's gonna, nope. It almost cut that truck off, geez. Uh, and then it decided, never mind, I'm not gonna do it. Now to be fair, he did speed up um, when he saw my turn signal come on, but that was a little weird. Okay, so I'm gonna see how long I can keep the wipers on auto here. In my opinion, the auto wipers suck on this car. Um, there are times where they work okay, and, and actually right now they're doing an okay job. Um, but most of the time, they just don't wipe nearly often enough, and I find myself um, putting them on either two or three. Um, but like I said, I'll keep them on auto as long as I can just for the challenge uh, to let the car kind of do everything. Now, autopilot in general does do uh, really well in the rain. It doesn't seem to have any kind of problem. The only issue we might run into here is if the weather gets too bad and there's too much rain, the car will actually detect that. Uh, using the cameras and, and the speed of the wiper blades, and it will disable Navigate on Autopilot. Now, if it disables that, I have to make lane changes and everything, and then the car can't do what Tesla advertises, and it can't go on-ramp to off-ramp. Now, they don't make any claims about weather. They just say the car is capable of driving on-ramp to off-ramp. Kind of a hard stop there, but uh, that's it's doing okay. Um, capable of driving on-ramp to off-ramp with no interventions at all. And we have had successes here, we have had failures, uh, but they don't mention the weather. So I'm curious if uh, the Navigate on autopilot will get disengaged and kind of ruin our whole you know, experience here. Wow, that was really good. Let me, let me put this camera up for you. Um, that was a really, oh, you can't see it because the rain's on it. That was actually a pretty tight gap. Um, and the car did a really good job of speeding up to match the speed of the two cars that it needed to get in between and then just sliding right in there. I haven't seen a lane change uh, in such a tight gap, I don't think ever. And that one was perfect. So I think I'll get rid of this camera since you can't see much anyway. I'll keep trying it, but it's not gonna look very good. So I'm playing with this mirror to see if maybe I can get it so you guys can see out of one of the rear windows, um, but it's hard to tell. Um, so I'll leave it there. If you can, cool. If not, then try again next time. That was a suggestion from a comment, so thanks for that. I am trying it out.
All right, so far the car has done really well. Um, we've had a couple lane changes with no issues at all. I'm a little concerned at the wiper speed here because if the wipers start going too fast, that's when you're gonna have navigate on autopilot. Uh, yeah, right on time, get disabled. So at this point, you know, we have 16 miles until my exit to get home. So it really isn't that big of a deal, but the car won't change lanes now. It won't get out of the passing lane and it won't pass anybody. So if I'm in the passing lane, let's say no one's in front of me and someone wants to pass from behind, the car's not gonna do it. Um, now, navigate on autopilot might come back on, and hopefully it will. You'll see the single line here. That means the car will do the lane changes and everything. But uh, is it going to? It's kind of like a crapshoot. I, I, I really don't know. Now, if you put the uh, wipers on, and you put it on this fast speed here, uh, three or four, even when there's no rain or anything, navigate on autopilot will get disabled. So wiper speed is part of the equation, but I've tested it. Um, where I put the wiper speed down to one when it's raining and it doesn't get re-enabled. So there is another component where it's using the cameras to detect the rain, um, but I don't know exactly how it does it. So uh, we're just gonna hope that, you know, the rain lets up or the car decides, hey, I can actually handle this scenario. I'm gonna, you know, continue doing my thing or else uh, this one's gonna be a fail and the car is not gonna be able to take me to the off-ramp. A little bit of hard braking there. Uh, the car was, uh, the truck was coming into my lane and the Tesla re just reacted a little late. I should call it Plug. My car is named Plug. Uh, and I never <laughs> call it that. So from now on, not the Tesla, this is Plug. Plug is driving. And there we go. Navigate on autopilot is back. You don't get any kind of message here, but of course the chime and you get the line. And you know, we're going slower. So there's less rain that the car is, uh, that plug is coming across. So the wipers are going a little slower. So it, it gets re-enabled. All right, we're passing this slower traffic. Um, you know, another component of driving in the rain that I really don't think the algorithm takes into account is the road being slippery. Of course, uh, when, when you're stopping or speeding up or anything, you have to drive a little differently when the road is wet. And I really don't think that's taken into account. Okay, so we've lost Navigate on Autopilot again. See, the wipers aren't even really going right now. So it, it's decided that some other way, I'm not sure how. But anyway, um, and I probably should have set the follow distance to two. Uh, I probably shouldn't have, or I should have set it to three, not two. Um, but it, it seems to be doing okay so far. But yeah, I guess this is gonna keep coming on and off. Um, and it, I don't know, it just seems like the braking isn't earlier than it is with dry pavement. See, like there, that was kind of a hard break. Um, and I would have been slowing way before that. Um, now I've never had any issues with autopilot slipping or sliding on me, like not at all. Um, but it's just something I really don't think it's taken into account. And I think it needs to be. Another thing, um, since my last video, I have been upgraded to full self-driving uh, for free from Tesla. I have a video about that. If you picked up your car in early 2019, uh, if you own a Tesla and you bought enhanced autopilot, you may be eligible for the free full self-driving. There's still a little bit of mystery around it. Um, I was pretty sure the time frame was uh, January 1st to February 28th. If you bought enhanced autopilot, you got full self-driving free, but now it seems like that's not happening for everybody. So I'll, I'll link to that video. Um, make sure you check that one out and maybe contact Tesla about that if you're curious. Finally, oh no, what the heck? Oh, I was like, can we get out of this stopped lane? There's plenty of space to the right um, and the car wasn't doing it and then we just lost nav on autopilot again so it's not gonna do it. That's annoying. Now at this point, the car isn't even detecting this lane to the right. Um, so I honestly kinda wanna break the rule a little bit and try a lane change just to see what it would do. Uh, I bet it would say unavailable. So this does not count. I'm just gonna turn my turn signal on. Yeah, and see it's not changing lanes. So 
that right, yeah, auto lane change unavailable, camera visibility reduced. So there you go, the rain has built up on there, or I don't know if there's some dirt on there as well. Um, I don't usually have problems with the cameras being dirty. I, I pretty much never clean them. That's a question I get asked. You know, do you have to clean the cameras all the time because you live on a dirt road? And I don't, I like, every once in a while, I'll just wipe them off as I'm walking by, um, but it's never something I've looked at and been like, ooh, no way that can see. It's just, for whatever reason, the dirt doesn't build up on there. It does build up on the rear view camera, uh, but not the repeaters on the side. All right, here's where things are gonna get a little sticky because um, luckily I have a car in front of me that makes it look like I'm not a huge jerk, um, but I am starting to get past on the right here. And these people are gonna be like, what are you doing? So, yep, he's looking right at me. <laughs> he's like, what the hell, get out of my way. And of course now the car is speeding up and he's gonna try to pass me and oh my gosh, I feel so bad, I'm so sorry. I'm not doing it on purpose, I swear. <laughs> it's autopilot, it's not me. Um, oh geez. So, oh man. Okay, it's back, all right, that's good. Um, but I assume the car's not gonna get out of the passing lane because because it's disabled again. That's not what I was gonna say, but okay. Oh yeah, these, I got two cars that are kind of close behind me. I am, you don't understand, it's hard to uh, like show this over the camera. I am so tempted to just take over and like end this challenge because I feel so bad that these guys are behind me. Um, the only reason I haven't is because I have a car in front of me that at least kind of makes it look like I'm stuck as well. Um, but man, do I want my car to change lanes so bad right now and it's not doing it. Um, so <laughs> plug definitely needs some, I'm gonna call it Tesla because people who aren't familiar with the channel will get confused. But anyway, uh, the Tesla needs some way to see, oh, someone's behind me, I need to move out of the way. All right, we got a mile left. <laughs> this one's like a real nail biter because navigate on autopilot just disabled again. Is it gonna be able to re-enable itself and make the lane change to exit? Uh, at this point, I'm thinking it's not. Uh, and I'm thinking this one might be a failure. Uh, but before we get there, I gotta say, this video was sponsored by the Model 3 Part Shop. Check out their website in the description. Uh, they have some great products that I'm using, and I really like the people that work there. You can use my code, Dirty Tesla to get 15% off anything site-wide. So check them out, link below. Okay, so here's our exit, 0.2 miles. We should have made the lane change already. Um, the car's not gonna do it. Now, here's what I'm gonna do. People asked me last time, I had a failure at this same point before where there was somebody in my way, the car couldn't get over and it, it missed the exit. I ended up taking over because the car like now started hitting its brake and oh my gosh, forget it. I just, I had to hit the accelerator. It's hitting its brake for no reason. It's still doing it. I don't know why. It must be this semi. So now it's not doing it. Okay, so I've taken over. This is a complete fail. Challenge number six is a fail. Here's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna uh, let the nav reroute us, which it already did, and see if it can make it to the next exit. So that was the request in the last video. What happens if the car misses an exit and you don't do anything? Is it gonna reroute? The answer is yes, it will reroute. Now here, uh, Navigate on Autopilot is obviously failing us and it, it's not working properly. Um, but if it was working, it would reroute to the next exit and then it would do what it normally does, change lanes, take the exit for you and everything. Um, so we'll see if we can get it to take the next exit. Um, I can just cut from here. I don't, I don't normally cut in these videos because I don't want you to think I'm hiding anything. Um, I wouldn't do that, but that way you see everything that happens. I don't hide anything. Um, so we can cut ahead to that or whatever happens on the way there, um, and we'll see if it can take the next exit and get me home. Uh, all right, Navigate on Autopilot is back on. You can see right here that it knows we need to change lanes um, to follow route. So we got plenty of space, so that was good. We're at least here, but again, if it turns off before we get to the exit, it's, it won't take the exit, so let's see. There's the guy that was behind me really close, <laughs> getting angry. Oh, it's not my fault, it's my car's fault. And then that guy was really close behind him. All right, and here's our exit. It looks like plug second chance at taking the exit. At least it did that. So, complete fail. Uh, hitting the brake there was insane, and 
not good at all. Uh, very dangerous to be hitting the brake on the highway when it's raining and nobody around you is expecting it. Now, I didn't slam on the brake, but it caught me off guard and it was enough that, you know, I felt the car and you probably could see the regen, you know, creeping up there. Um, so, let's see, it's just gonna follow these cars. All right, so that's it. Uh, challenge number six, it's a big fail. Um, you know, autopilot can do the rain. Um, it's good at keeping the lane and everything, but the cameras get obscured by the water. You know, they really do. And, <laughs> you know, I, I put a poll up, another poll that I did, do you think this car is capable of full self-driving just with a software update? Um, and so far, you know, the poll's new, but so far it's looking like most of you say yes. You know, you just need a software update, this car's ready to go. Um, I'm pretty skeptical, I I'm gonna be honest. Like, I love the car, everything it can do today, I don't need any software updates, I love it. I'm so happy with it, but, is it really going to be able to go point A to point B? I get in my car at my house and end up at work. Uh, I mean, come on, I couldn't even like drive on the highway there from a little rain. This wasn't even a huge rainstorm. You know, when you get up to speed and it's, it's raining consistently and there are cars splashing and everything, there is a good amount of water, but it rains a lot harder than this sometimes um, and, and the car couldn't handle it. So, I don't know, I'm skeptical. Hopefully uh, they'll come up with some solution, but um, we will autopilot onto these dirt roads and that'll be fun for everybody. This isn't as impressive, you know, when you have the lines to start you off. Anyway, I've gone on enough. Um, this is the end of challenge number six. That was a fail. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, uh, and I will see you in the next video.